Metabolism is so much driven by your skeletal muscle mass. The more muscle you have, the greater your metabolism. And that's why exercise is so important for helping people maintain energy balance. I think a lot of people do not know the importance of the resting metabolism. It is the amount of energy your body needs to live at rest. If you have less energy intake, less food, than what your body needs to maintain your body weight at rest laying quietly in a bed for 24 hours, you're gonna lose weight. If you eat more than what you, your body needs to maintain the current weight and skeletal tissue, you're gonna gain weight. As you lose weight, your resting metabolic rate will decline because the body doesn't need as much energy to maintain your same level of muscle, tissues, organs, and the such. So one of the problems with dieting is that if you lower your calories under your metabolic rate, it's counterproductive because your resting metabolic rate will reduce lower to the calories that you're eating. And that makes it a lot harder to lose weight. Breezing allows you to find out what kind of fuels you're using and uh, being able to uh, tailor your intensity or your pace to, um, to optimize the fat as fuel. That's a real potential of breezing. Those who are interested in doing endurance athletics always want to avoid fatigue. Using fats as fuel allows you to go have greater endurance without relying on your limited amount of glucose and glycogen stored in the muscles. And so by measuring your metabolic rate right after you're through exercising, you can identify your predominant fuel, either fats or carbohydrates or a mixed fuel source.